Next week will be the anniversary of JFK's assassination. The 46-year-old president was fatally shot while traveling with his wife in Dallas, Texas. Now, the 10-month Warren investigation concluded that Kennedy was assassinated by Lee Harvey Oswald acting alone. Joining us live in studio this morning, we have Judith Very uh, Baker, Lee Harvey Oswald's girlfriend at the time of the shooting. And this is her book right here, just published, Me and Lee, How I Came to Know, Love, and Lose Lee Harvey. Harvey Oswald. And I'll tell you, Judith, so many questions having you here. You knew him intimately. I guess the number one question people might want to know is, how did you even meet Oswald? Well, we met in New Orleans. I came early and they sent him to make sure that I wouldn't get lost in the city because I couldn't meet the doctors that I was working with. Yeah, you at were the looking time. at cancer. You were doing some cancer. Yes, we were doing cancer research and he had actually been sent by the CIA to uh, spy on the project because uh, we were working on developing a biological weapon. People who don't think their biological weapons exist, they need to read the book. Right, right. There, and this is a, a very hefty book here, six, 600 pages. Now let's get right to it. The warm report, as we just said, says that Oswald acted alone. You say that's not true. Without giving up too many details, why do you say that? Well, I knew him personally, and I uh, understand uh, now uh, just how deeply he was involved in trying to protect the president. And this is what a lot of people don't understand. And the man who was trying to protect the president had to be himself executed only two days after Kennedy was killed. Right. Right. So there's a lot of detail in the book to explain and, that. And this is kind of interesting. I saw this online. Polls conducted from 1966 to 2004 found that as many as 80% of the Americans have suspected that there was a plot or cover-up. And you agree with that? Oh, absolutely. I knew Lee Oswald. I understood what was going on. There's something called the Katzenbach memo. And that memo says we have to find a way to convince the American public that Oswald did it alone. And this is before they, just a few days after Kennedy was killed. Right. And, and they didn't even look at any of the evidence. And Hoover said that, that Lee Oswald did it all by himself before evidence even reached the FBI labs. Now going through the book, and if I can, you can see this right here, lots of pictures, documentation. Skeptics might say, though, there's not one picture of you in Oswald. What do you have to say to oh, them? Oh, that's easy. I mean, how many of you have a, a love affair and you're married to somebody else? How many of you go and said, say, let's go get our picture taken so we can get in trouble? All right. You know? Well, we do want to let you know this is a locally published book. The publisher, you can you tell me a little bit about them. Yes, uh, they're in Walterville, mm -hmm. and this is Trying Day, and they've published Me and Lee, also a companion book, many books they've mm -hmm. published. Right. And you should be really proud of them because we have a very courageous publisher. His name is Chris Milligan. And uh, it's, it's been a real pleasure to work with him. This All man right. did not censor the book. Right. Well, I want you to let you, everyone know you can pick up a copy of Judith's book today. She's going to be at a signing at Tsunami Books happening at 1030 this morning.